Hey guys, um, I just wanted to film a, um, I went, we, we've been out shopping all day. We took the kids out to do something special and um, while we were out, I wasn't planning on going grocery shopping, but while we were out, I decided to go ahead and run into Aldi's and pick up some stuff to last us for about a week. So I wanted to go ahead and do a grocery haul and show you guys what all I got. So this will last, we're a family of five and um, our kids are range from eight to three. So they eat a good bit of food and um, this will last us, this is kind of just like my staple items that will last for about a week or so. And I spent around $100. So I just wanted to film it and show you guys what all I got. So here we go. Um, so I grabbed some baby carrots. Um, I got two bags. I tend to buy things in sets of two, you'll notice. Like I got two things of milk. I got two things of LaCroix drinks. I got two bags. Like I just buy things in sets of two. But um, uh, my kids like to eat baby carrots with lunches um, and ranch or we really like them cooked as a side dish um, with suppers. So I grabbed some of those. I got some um, bell peppers. They had these on sale for like 99 cents for the two of them. I think they were 99 cents. They might have been even cheaper than that. Um, but they were organic. Um, sun, red sun peppers is what they're called. So I'm going to make fajitas one night this week. Um, and then I got, I grabbed this um, Caesar salad kit to have like just on hand for if we have a pasta night that I can eat a salad or something because I'm trying to be healthier and then this was um, a Southwest chop salad kit and I have never tried this but it looked really good it um, it almost looks like it's more cabbage instead of for some reason my camera's not focusing but it almost looked like it was more cabbage instead of actual salad um, so I thought that would be really good to try and I'll let you guys know how it, it, it is. But anyways, my husband likes these um, quinoa meals. And for some reason, it's not focusing. Um, but anyways, my husband likes these quinoa meals. And they're, like, ready to go. So And they even come with, like, a little food, like, food, um, what am I trying to say? A uh, spork, like a fork spoon thing. And this is mango jalapeno flavor. But he likes to take those. Normally I have leftovers for him to take for lunch. But on the off chance where we just do like a fend for yourself night or we don't have leftovers that night, then he can grab these to go. And then this is a quinoa meal that is, um, it's like a pre-seasoned one. So... It's roasted red pepper and basil. So I thought that would be good with like grilled chicken or something. Um, I also got, let me go back up here to the cold stuff. So I got two things of the plain fit and active. We like to eat these with, um, put this in our smoothies or eat it with berries on top and granola or we just, we go through a lot of yogurt. So I grabbed two of those. Those are only like a little over a dollar at Aldi and they're like double the price at Walmart. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those. I got three dozen eggs. I actually got four gallons of milk, but two I got for a friend. So these are my two and the other two are already in the fridge. And then I got two boxes of LaCroix and they're cranberry, raspberry, and tangerine. And I love these. I actually mix, um, apple cider vinegar in with mine and drink them that way and they're really really good but they're not everybody's cup of tea so um, I just really like them I got a bag of grapes and if y'all hear stuff in the background we actually got a new coffee um, ninja coffee bar maker tonight while we were out and my husband is playing with it Chris say hi Hello. and um, so he's making noises in the background, but I got grape jelly. My kids live on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I got um, cocktail peanuts because I use those um, in a recipe that I make, like a payday candy, and we also like to snack on them some. My kids love these um, strawberry watermelon. My 
twins call it Kool-Aid and I just put like a little bitty bit in water to where it flavors it just a tad and then they're drinking mostly water so those last for a long time so I got two of those like I said I buy everything in sets of two like everything sets of twos um, I got mini sweet chocolate chips for I like to keep those on hand if we have company over and we have um, I can make chocolate chip cookies or I can add it to I like to add chocolate chips to cake uh, cake mix and make them into muffins sometimes so I grab those I got four things of diced tomatoes just because I like to keep these on stock for soups or um, I add a can of diced tomatoes to my pasta sauce when I make spaghetti so I like to just keep those on hand and I was almost out so I just grabbed a couple of those I got crushed pineapple um, kind of for the same thing I add that to cake mix sometimes too and it, it's really good um, and I only had one can in the pantry so I liked I just grabbed another can and then I got um, a can of yams because I was going to use do those as a side dish for dinner one night and what else did I get this I've never bought before but I seen it and it's the queso blanca um, blanca cheese instead of the Velveeta brand and I actually really like I'm not a fan of off-brand Velveeta but Aldi's is the closest one that I've ever found to the actual Velveeta taste so and it's only $3.99 versus like I think it's like seven something at Walmart so it's literally half the price and it's really good so I got two of those um, we like to eat chili mac so I put like a whole one of those in chili mac and I got the other one for in case I have to take like we have dinners at our church uh, we eat our whole church eats together every Sunday night and we do a menu so ever like almost probably like 80% of the time Velveeta is on that menu so sometimes I'm signed up to bring it so I just went ahead and picked up one of those I also got a thing of salsa because um, my kids like my oldest in general loves chips and salsa and he my kids like to eat um, quesadilla like I just take a taco shell and put shredded cheese in it and fry it up together and cut it into fours like a pizza like pizza slices and they dip it in salsa and they have that for lunch a lot um, I got olive oil spray because I was almost out I'm trying this banana nut granola um, because I usually get the one from Walmart that's the I think it's like what's that cereal Chris that we eat it's you know, what, the banana nut crunch cereal what's that brand Banana nut crunch. Okay. It's a brand. I don't know. I don't have my head right now. I'm drawing a blank. But anyways, all they had that, so I got it. I got two bags of the frozen chicken thighs. Those were only five dollars a bag and they're like ten pound bags. Yeah, ten pound bags. So I went ahead and got those. We like thighs better than breast. Um, so I went ahead and picked those up. I got almond milk for my smoothies and to eat in that cereal for me. Um what else have I not showed you guys? So I got two bags of pretzel sticks. My kids love these. They're only 75 cents at Aldi. And then I got, um, my battery's blinking. And then I got two bags of the cheddar sour cream chips. And I got two bags of the Aldi brand tortilla chips to, if I make like Rotel cheese dip or to eat with the salsa. Um, if we have taco night or something like that. So so that's what I got, and um, I'll put the exact price right here. This And at Walmart, this would have cost me probably close to like over $200, um, or right around $200. So I think I did really good. This will last us for, like I said, about a week. We'll probably go through those three dozen eggs in less than that time. Um, because if we have eggs for breakfast, I use a whole dozen and then I'm going to start doing, um, a whole dozen of hard boiled eggs to keep in the fridge to eat on salads or to eat for breakfast in the morning. So that's what we got. Um, and like I said, I will post, let me turn you guys around. I'm still getting used to this camera. Um, I'm using, until I get a better camera, I'm going to try using my Canon E. 
it's E03 or E03, I don't remember. Anyways, it's the Rebel T3. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of heavy and it doesn't have the flip up camera. So I can't see myself right now. But um, I'm gonna try using this one and um, see how we do. But um, so y'all bear with me and we're just getting started, but this is my first grocery haul and I wanted to go ahead and film it for y'all. And let me know how you like it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Talk to you later.